today we start a story which is very attractive also and nowadays you have seen in each of everywhere mainly on the walls of the schools there is a picture which is attracted by all can you guess what type of picture it is you can see there is a pencil and on the pencil there sits a girl and then a boy at the both end of the pencil and what is written under that education for all education for all and nowadays in our country it is known as in our own language sarva shiksha abhiyan means education for all and education for all means no one will be illiterate because india is now a developing country after the independence of 17 years past india was only 30% literate nowadays it increases more than 70% literature literate persons are in india and you also know the most literate state in india is kerala and our state is also not in the back and now education is a competitive market because it develops and makes our life for to enjoy a better life without education our life is nothing so all of the parents are worried to teach their children and but before some years it was not possible in the ancient period education was only for the high society people because in the temple barandaj the worshipper was teaching and in the gurukul some of the students who are staying with the teacher and learning something but most of the people who are not able to get the education so the government of india thought even if the people of other country thought that if the education will not be developed then no one country will be developed all of you know the development countries such as america england canada rus france german japan or all developed countries due to their education so the government of india proposes to develop the education and a free and fair education to all up to 14 years up to 14 years free and free education so and also free education to the girls up to the pg level post graduate level they are getting free education but before some years it was not possible and at that time people are thinking that education is not good for the girl child you know one of a girl like your age who was reading also in your same class in class 9 you can guess who is that girl in class 9 who got the nobel prize who is the prestigious prize in the world that is ishu malala of pakistan who was a mere child and when the government or the some terrorist banned the education for girl but he protested and tried to go to school she protested and tried to go to school by which the taliban became angry and attacked her but 
she was she was survived and for her activity she got the nobel prize with our indian person kola society all of you know so education made her world famous you also are in the habit of getting education because your parents are trying to do some good work although some of you are not getting or some of you will not get good jobs but this is not the aim of education aim of education is to acquire some knowledge and to use in your our or in your later life so what had happened in this chapter we will see that education for all is the slogan but nowadays such an example had happened in the story which is stated by the editorial board not any not mentioned any author, any author that a poor man who was employed as a watchman of a big house and who had a daughter and a son the daughter and son lost their mother but the father who was acting as a watchman in that big house tried to teach his son but not his daughter so what was the feeling of the daughter and how she thought about his father and how what was his aim or how to fulfill her aim we will see in this chapter how she tried to get some education by which her aim was fulfilled so if you try in your life to do and fulfill something in a good way then it will better for you so we come to the topic that in the topic the real man in the topic he name is amo the topic based on amo and her father was chalapa her father was chalapa and amuj amu the girl her father chini her little brother and another character in this topic is mrs mohan mrs mohan a retired headmistress a retired headmistress headmistress then there are four persons or four characters in this topic and you can see that chalapa was the watchman of a big house and amu was her daughter and chini was her little brother whose little brother amuj little brother what had happened and how the topic proceed how the story proceed forward and what was the result so the name of the topic is first step the name of the topic is first step what was the first step of the goal amu what was the first step of the goal amu we will see in this topic that amu wake up and make tea for me a hand roughly shook the 10 year old girl awake amu was a mere girl 10 year old girl and one morning a hand shook her that calling amu wake up and make a tea for me make tea for me who told amuj father chalapa told in the morning 
amu yand amu of wake up and yand opening her mouth opening wide her mouth yand all of you in the habit of yawning when you wake up from bed then amu also did this and rubbed up the sleep rubbed her eyes of the sleep from her eyes she rose with a sigh when she woke up became very sigh not at that time when you woke up when you woke up first you do not feel active first but then you feel sigh and took the vessel of milk her father held out the father ramuj father held held out a vessel of milk means a pot of milk or jar of milk with his hand and amu took it and went to the kitchen room to make tea for her father what happened there her eyes watered from the smoke nowadays you are using gas and electric machines to cook your food but before some days people use wood and leaves to prepare their food so when you burn the wood or leaf for your cook then there must be the smoke and when the smoke enters your eyes then you feel very only on happy and your actors your eyes will be watered the eyes watered from the smoke that came out as she blew on the flames when the flew blames the flew when the flames blew her eyes watered come outside i want to talk to you he ordered amuj father chalapa told come outside i want to talk to you Amu carried the glass of tea. So after preparation of the tea, Amu carried the glass of tea and followed her father behind her father. And what was his father told? What did his father told? His father told that her father told that yesterday evening I learnt that the new owner will be coming. She to he told to Amu that yesterday evening he came to know that. the new owner will be coming any day to occupy the house to stay in that as the the new owner will be coming or will come he began who began chalapa began to stay i was asked if a reliable maid would work there and i suggested your name at once he was also advised to set a maid servant who will do the household jobs who will do the household jobs in that house and chalapa also told i had not got any relied person but so i proposed your name to do as a maid servant in that house amuj father was chalapa was the watchman at the big house in the on the hill on the hill there was the big house and amuj father was employed as a watchman there and the owner had died a couple months or two months before the owner of that house had died the owner of that house had died two months ago and they had heard that he had left the house to his sister's daughter so the owner who was the owner of the big house who died before his death he shifted or transport the house on the name of his sister's daughter means to her niece to her niece and the people in the neighborhood wondered the people in the neighborhood the people who lived near the big house we are wondered when the new owner would come to live there they were thinking among themselves when the new owner will come to live in that house so amuj father chalapa was also wondered when the new owner will arrive the money will be useful chalapa said thoughtfully as she sipped his tea 
All of you in the habit of, some of you are in the habit of uh, sipping tea. Sip means drink tea. Sipping tea. When Chalapa was continued sipping tea, at that time he thought thoughtfully that if you employed they are in that big house as a maid servant, the money which you will get as a maid servant, it will be very useful for Chini. Chini was Amuj's younger brother, Chini, and the money will be implied or money will be introduced or money will be applied in the teaching of or learning of Chini. Why? Amu asked curiously. Curiously means eagerly. Curiously. Amu asked eagerly, why? I do the work and the money will be expenditure in the name of Chini, in the education of Chini. Why? Amu asked curiously or eagerly. Then what was the reply of her father? Because I need money to send Chini to school. I need money to send Chini to school. Her father replied, curtly, curtly means rudely. Her father replied, curtly, rudely. Chini is Amu's little brother. Chini is Amu's little brother. Then Amu also asked, what about me? I would like to go to school too. Amu said, Amu told, or proposed before her father that, Father, what about me? I also want to go to school. Then what was the reply of her father? You are only a girl. You are only a girl child. Oh, now of what use will education be to you? What will be the use of education to you? You will get married even before you finish the third grade. Means after three years. Now you are ten years. After three years, you will be thirteen. Then at that time, you must read in class three or in third grade. Then at that time, you are going by you will be married. And Chini will get a good job if Chini will read something as a boy then he will get a good job if he is educated her father he retorted means made an immediate reply retorted made immediate reply father immediately replied education is not necessary for you if Chini will be educated, he will get a good job. Nowadays, most of the guardians are in the thought also. You can think, but it is less than, than that time. Then, Amu turned away to hide her tears. Listening this from a father, the girl was very shocked. And a tears rolled out, came out from her eyes. She also hide it in her tear, eyes. She wished that her mother was alive. At that time, Amu remembered about her mother. She thought if her mother would be alive, then the situation must have changed. And she would not have allowed Chalapa to speak, to speak so uncaringly. This was the uncaringly Speaking of or the uncaringly thought of Chalapa, not to send to Chini Amu to school instead of sending Chini. And her mother would have let Amu to go to school at least to learn the alphabet. Mother must allow or permit her daughter to go to school at least to, to know the alphabet. Because it is a saying nowadays that if, if male if a boy or a male is educated, he is educated. If a girl child is educated, 
and then a family is educated nowadays. So it was also the thought of Amu at that time. Then Amu, I will be busy all day at the big house. Who told this? Amu's father Chelapa told this. Amu, I will be busy all day at that big house. Come they are at 9 o'clock to clean the house. I want the new owner to get a good impression. I think if the room will be or house will be cleaned, the new owner will be in a good impression. But before that, you clean your house. Before going there to clean the house, you should clean our own house, Chalapa said. Said Chalapa means Amu's father. Amu cleaned their house, which was a, a room in her servant's quarters of the big house. There was a Servant quarter house, all of you have seen in the big buildings or in the flats, there are some quarters for the servants. They are living beside the big house. And like this, the servant's quarter was near the or the beside the big house. And Amu with her father and brother was living there. And she washed all the clothes before having her own bath, before going to bath. Amu washed all the clothes. She packed her father's lunch. Then she packed her father's lunch and walked to the big house according to the wish of her father. Then what happened there? We see was Amu engaged there or not? Was the new owner arrived or not? If he arrived, what had happened in the second bit? That the new owner arrived according to the previous information of Chalapa, the new owner arrived. She was a slim, grey-haired lady. She was a slim, not very fat or not very thin, but a slim and grey-haired means a aged woman, grey-haired lady, dressed in a spotless white sari, maybe the widow, because the widows wears only spotless white sari. And Madam, my daughter Amu will work for you when the new owner arrived. Chalapa, the keeper of the house or the watchman of the house, told that Madam Amu, my daughter, my daughter Amu will work for you. She has already cleaned your house before you were coming. Chalapa smiled told in a smiling face. Then I don't need your help today, Amu. Then the new owner of the house told, then I do not need your help today, Amu. Will you come tomorrow morning? She asked, Amu nodded. Then the new owner told Amu, that Amu, if the rooms are clean, then I have no need today, then you may come tomorrow. Nodu, Amu nodded. Nodded means agreed. No dead. So, in agreement. So, in agreement. Then, Amu nodded. And you can go home now. Come at 9 in the morning. The new owner told to Amu that you can go home now, come at in the morning at 9. The woman said and asked Chalapa to carry in the suitcases. And the new owner told to Chalapa to carry her suitcases, means the boxes, which we are covered with, or full with some useful things. The new owner's name was Mrs. Mohan. The new owner's name was Mrs. Mohan. Mrs. Mohan was the new owner. And she was a widow. She had a daughter also who was married and lived in Bombay. Mrs. Mohan had a daughter and who had married and lived in Bombay. Now in Mumbai. The next morning, Amu went to Mrs. Mohan's house. In the next morning, Amu went to Mrs. Mohan's house and told Mrs. Mohan that before telling something, Mrs. Mohan told, 
गुड मॉर्निंग आमू मिसेस मोहन फास्टली ग्रीटेड दैट लिटिल गर्ल आमू सेइंग दैट गुड मॉर्निंग आमू मिसेस मोहन ग्रीटेड हर टेलिंग गुड मॉर्निंग मिसेस मोहन ग्रीटेड हर कंग्रेचुलेटेड हर कम नॉट ओनली ग्रीटेड बट आल्सो टोल्ड कम एंड हैव ए ग्लास ऑफ टी बिफोर गोइंग बिगिनिंग वर्क बिफोर बिगिनिंग वर्क कम एंड टेक ए ग्लास ऑफ टी हु ऑफर्ड मिसेस मोहन ऑफर्ड टू होम टू अमो सिंस यू क्लीन द हाउस थरोली ओनली यस्टरडे एंड मिसेस मोहन टोल्ड यस्टरडे यू हैड थरोली क्लीन द हाउस इट विल बी एनफ इफ यू जस्ट डस्ट एवरीथिंग सो इट इज एनफ only dust everything dust means to clean the things or furnitures with a broom or other things just dust everything and i will be busy mrs mohan will be busy on packing in the bedroom if you want anything if you want anything to do then i will be busy in that room unpacking all the things unpacking means making loose and set everything here and in the proper places amu washed the few vessels she found in the sink amu found there are some vessels we are not cleaned vessels were not cleaned so amu tried to clean it and she took up the duster amu took up the duster and went to the drawing room then amu went to the drawing room with the duster what did he she do there taking the duster with her hand amu went to the drawing room what was done by her then the bookcase drew her like a magnet in the drawing room the bookcase which she saw looked or seemed her just like a magnet so so what happened she had the intention to read something so when she got the bookcase she tried to look the books she fingered the books lovingly so she fingered saw the book page by page fingered with her finger lovingly and gaze read the pictures in a book and gaze looked the pictures in a book which was very attractive for amu or for her amu turned as she heard footsteps approach when amu was looking or watching the books or fingering the books lovingly at that time she heard some of the sounds or footsteps which was coming or approaching towards her what had happened she may be nervous because without the permission of the owner she was looking the books and fingering the books then what had happened nothing but her thought was that the new owner will be angry but it was not happened what had happened that i will have to sort out all the books mrs mohan told i will have to sort out all the books there is a quite a vast collection here mrs mohan told that there is a vast collection of books she is going to sort out all sort out means place it all in their proper places and my own books will coming soon she also told my own books his her own books the new one books of the owner are coming soon means they were anywhere else and said mrs mohan pretending not to have noticed the book in amu's hand pretending not thinking or not giving importance that amu was looking the books eagerly but amu was very nervous also and now sit down then mrs mohan politely told to amu now you sit down here now you sit down here and tell me about yourself about your history or your life history 
डू यू हैव एनी ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर मिस्टर मिसेस मोहन आस्क ईगली टू अमु व्हाट वाज द आंसर ऑफ अमु देन अमु टोल्ड दैट आई हैव अ यंगर ब्रदर अमु टोल्ड दैट सी हैड अ यंगर ब्रदर हुज नेम वाज चीनी हुज नेम वाज चीनी एंड he is only 5 years old amuj younger brother chini was only 5 years and amu was 10 years old and what does he do mrs mono asked to amu what was your brother doing amu replied appa is sending chini to school from next week from next week appa is going to और इज सेंडिंग चीनी टू स्कूल और और फादर विल सेंड चीनी टू स्कूल फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट वीक अमुज वॉयस हेल्ड ए ट्रेमर ट्रेमर मीन्स सक सक मीन्स नॉट इन ए कंप्लीट वॉयस बिकॉज Her voice was choked. Her voice was choked because she had the intention to go to school instead of her. Now Chini is ready to go to school, and her aim was going to going not to be fulfilled. So when she told this, her voice was tremor. Don't you also want to go to school, Mrs. Mon asked gentle. Then Mrs. Mon. Asked gentle to Amu, do you not want to go to school? What was the reply of Chin Mo Amu? A passage. It will be no use to me. As I am a girl, a passage. It is no use to me because I am only a girl child, and there is no necessary. Of education for the girl. It was the thought of Amu's father, which was told by Amu to Mrs. Mohan. If Chini is educated, it will help him to get a good job. She also told another thing that if Chini will be educated, she will get a good job. Amu replied without emotion, without emotion, without any break. Amu replied frankly that if Chini will be educated, then she will, he will good, get a good job. Shall I go? And then she wanted to divert the aim and told, Shall I go and wash the clothes? Amu proposed to Mrs. Mohan that, Shall I go and clean the clothes? Mrs. Mohan. Realized everything. Mrs. Mohan listened to this and realized everything. And her heart was also her heart was also wanted to help Amu in other way. That Mrs. Mohan realized the fact that she had to get through. To Amu, somehow she wanted to relax Amu in somehow. Perhaps she could start a small school for unfortunate girls like Amu. It was the thought of Mrs. Mohan. She thought she will start a school for unfortunate girls like Amu and Huyar. She mused. She mused. Who mused? Mrs. Mohan mused. Thought carefully, mused. Mrs. Mohan thought carefully, and then the big house would resound with children's laughter. When getting the idea of Amuj M, Mrs. Mohan had the thought that. If she will set up a new school for unfortunate girls like Amu, then 
the school or the house will be full with laughter of the little children mrs mon went to the kitchen then then mrs mon went to the kitchen and set aside food for amu and set aside separated some food for amu then she then ate the simple lunch she had cooked mrs mon cooked some lunch and she also kept something for amu and ate the other part because amu was had gone to wash the dishes then have your lunch fast then mrs mon told have your lunch fast and then do these dishes mrs mon proposed to amu first you should take your lunch then wash the dishes come to the drawing room after washing the dishes come to the drawing room after you finish she told mrs mohan told to amu after finish the washing of the dishes you come to the drawing room amu was taken aback by her employer's kind ways her kind words amu was taken aback amu was very frightened also and she thought what to do or what to what not to do was taken aback about the by her employers kind ways it had been quite some time since someone had spoken kindly to her and it was the first time after a long period someone had told her the kind words because she had learned the kind words but she had listened the kind words when her mother was alive after her mother no one had told her such type of kind words so amu's mind was changed what happened to then then amu you must go to school proposed mrs bethi amu you must go to school ask your father not to worry about money and you may told you told to your father he would not be worry about money was amu ready to accept this or not what are you thinking you think amu will be agree but that was not happened amu was not agreed amu was not agreed because mrs mon told she will go to school and told her father and proposed her proposed to amu to tell to tell her father not to be worry about money because girls should also go to school the girls who are living who are living in that locality should go to school to learn something like the boys tell your father that i shall pay your fees you should tell your father i shall pay the school fees mrs mon said gentle because at that time like yourselves education was not free and education was even if the government schools education was also got by the students paying the fees we are also we were also in that same period and what had happened no no amu began crying listening this amu began to cry that no no my father will never agree amu told my father will not agree to send me to school and he will but mrs mon told he will be agree i shall i spoke to him yesterday about it i told him about it yesterday mrs mohan said weeping uh, weeping amuj tears while weeping amuj tears at that time mrs mon told her not to be worry but then who will work for you amu told to mrs mon then if i go to school who will work for you who will cook for my father and brother who will also cook for my brother and father amu asked seriously amu became very serious she also told who will cook for you and for father and brother then i have another plan mrs mon told she had another plan i am a retired headmistress she was a retired headmistress after service she got the retirement who mrs mohan 
वाज ए हेड मिस्ट्रेस आफ्टर द जॉब सी वाज रिटायर्ड एंड नाउ केम टू स्टे इन दैट बिग हाउस सी वाज ए रिटायर्ड हेड मिस्ट्रेस एंड सी ऑल्सो टोल्ड आई शैल टीच यू एवरी डे सी टोल्ड टू अमू टू टीच हर एवरी डे यू कम हियर आफ्टर फिनिशिंग योर कोर्स मीन्स ए रूटीन वार्क कोर्स मीन्स रूटीन वार्क Every day's routine work. After finish your every day's routine work, you should come here, and I shall teach you as long as you want. As long as you want, I shall teach you. Don't be worried. How do you like that, Mrs. Mon asked. Mrs. Mon asked her, How do you like this proposal? Amu replied, Because her eyes were shone or. Get dazzled and fine. Well, shall we begin today itself? She begged. She begged. Amu begged. Shall we begin today? Is it correct or not? We will start today or not? Then Mrs. Mon told, of course, yes. Laughed and began with the alphabet. Mrs. Mon told, yes. Today we will start the. Alphabet and started the alphabet. An hour later, Mrs. Mon taught Amu for an hour, and Amu went home with a in a happy days. Days means unable to think due to confusion. Days unable to think in confusion. Because she was confused, because her father will be agree or not, or will he accept or not. So Ami Amu felt the best moment and fulfilled her first step, and she had taken the first step towards her goal. So the goal of Amu was to learn to learn something. So her first step was fulfilled. So, oh, imagine yourself. Amu was a mere ten years old girl whose aim was to learn something. She also fulfilled her aim. Then, in your life, you should try at your best to fulfill your aim. Is it correct or not? Try at your best. So, now we will go to find out some of the questions. All of you know. The topic is covered, and all of you know the pattern of the question of this topic is only short type questions, which is answered in a word or in a phrase, or sometimes also in a sentence. There is no long questions, and all of the questions are topic based, and no long questions. Can you answer? Who was the? Owner of the new house, Mrs. Mohan. What was Mrs. Mohan? Mrs. Mohan was a retired head mistress or head mistress. Mrs. Mohan was a retired head mistress. She was also a widow and grey-haired, slim lady. And Another question is, who was Chalapa? Chalapa was the new. Was Chalapa was the watchman of that house. What did he told Amu? Did he tell Amu to finish the homework or the outwork and go to the big house? Who are the characters in this topic? Who are the characters in this topic? Amu, Chalapa, Chini, and Mrs. Mohan. Another question, students. Then we will see some other questions. That what did Mrs. Mohan plan to help Amu to teach her and set up a new school for the girl child? What made Amu happy at the end? 
learning the alphabet and fulfilling the aim. So, this is the topic and today that's all for and we will see each other in the next class.